Today we're escaping the Osaka crowds by taking a scenic train ride out to a place where you can see Japanese female pearl divers, Mikimoto Pearl Island. After spending time in both Tokyo and Osaka, I wanted to take my parents out to a less crowded area of Japan, and somewhere that all of us, myself included, had never been before. Mikimoto Pearl Island is the birthplace of modern pearl cultivation and the Japanese pearl industry. The area came onto my radar when I saw a video about female divers in Japan and how the island is one of the only places where they demonstrate these traditional diving practices for visitors. To get to the island, you get to ride the Kintetsu Limited Express Line from Osaka to Toba Station. You can purchase tickets either in person at the station or online. We opted to purchase our tickets and choose our seats online the night before. I'll leave a link to the website where you can purchase tickets in the video description box. For our journey, we'll be catching the Limited Express from Suruhashi Station which is one of the stops on the main Osaka loop line that links the central Osaka stations. The ride from Suruhashi Station to Toba Station takes about an hour and a half, making it long enough to be able to relax a bit and take in the beautiful aesthetic countryside. A one-way standard limited express ticket is 1,640 yen. On the ride to Toba, we decided to upgrade to sit in the deluxe car since it was only 420 yen extra per seat. Once you arrived at Toba Station, it's a short walk from the station to the island. Yay! Relaxing train ride. Very relaxing. <laughs> Two hours, really quick. We're at Toba Station right now and then we are walking 11 minutes to Pearl Island. Toba is a coastal city located in central Japan that has many local attractions like the Toba Aquarium and is known for its seafood. Got someone. <laughs> but like, look at how lush this place is. So we're used to walk down that path. Mikimoto Pearl Island is located in Toba Bay. You can reach the island and museum by walking from Toba Station. Tickets for the museum can be purchased online in advance, or you can purchase them at the ticket office, which is what we did. Adult entry is 1,650 yen, and children 6 to 15 years is 820 yen. The 
The museum provides information and history about pearls, pearl cultivation, and Mikimoto Kokichi himself. Mikimoto built the Japanese pearl industry and was the first to succeed in pearl cultivation in 1893. So quiet here. It's definitely a nice break from Osaka and Tokyo where there's just so many people. Nice and quiet. Weather is beautiful today. I'm so glad we added this to our itinerary last minute. Is there really a stamp? Yeah. Oh, there's one for all over the island. Hold on. It's this one. Okay, so. so even though I have my stamp book, I'll do. Well, the ones you like put in your book. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. All right. Unoma. Wait. Okay, ready? Oh, oh that's so cute. cute. It's Mr. Mickey Mola himself. Cute. Oh, so there's a bunch of so. That's the goal right here. The main building has sections about pearl farming and about the modern uses of pearls for jewelry and cosmetics. Then there's a whole other building focused solely on Mikimoto Kokichi's journey as a successful businessman in Japan. Thankfully, the museum's information is in English and Japanese. There is a restaurant on site where you can have lunch while looking out at the beautiful Toba Bay. You can also purchase Mikimoto and Mikimoto Pearl Island pearls from the store located in the main building. Overall, it took a little over four hours for us to go through the museum, eat, and watch the Ama Pearl Diver demonstration. Or I could uh, do two. Uh, Maybe I'll do two. I like this one. Oh, yeah, these two. That makes sense. Maybe I'll put it with this. Okay. There you go. Haha. Perfect. Okay, this is the test. Did it bleed through? No. no. Only in Japan can you leave open pearls out and just know if this is like asking you to please don't take, but try it. <laughs> this is harder than it looks. This is hard. Can you tell the difference? One is a... So interesting. So rub your pearls, guys. That's how you know. All right, next stamp. It's red. Oh, so then it must be that one. Yeah. Let's see. Oh, okay. I'm putting it in there too. Then. Okay. okay. Yeah. I'm scared. Oh, you gotta do it harder in your book. Oh no, oh, it's, it's perfect. perfect. That, yeah, that's a good uh, one. Okay, okay, okay. That goes into your book too. Same page? No. no. This page, fresh page. <laughs> <laughs>
Now we are heading down to watch the pearl diving demonstration. The biggest reason for us visiting the island was to see the Ama divers in action. Ama are Japanese female divers, also known as sea women. The Ama traditionally not only pearl dive, but also dove for farming and aquatic foods such as sea urchin and abalone. There are still some local markets in Mie Prefecture where you can purchase items harvested by Ama. Mikimoto hired the Ama for their diving skills to help cultivate the oysters for their pearls. However, due to the development of aquaculture technology, the need for the Ama pearl divers disappeared. To commemorate their efforts, the museum offers hourly performances where you can see the Ama dive for oysters in their traditional white attire, which, by the way, does not include modern scuba gear. It was amazing to see in person. Got a pearl from the pearl shop. Here to save my mom and Randall. Got to work the pattern. Complete. We are on our way back. We are at Toba Station again, and our train is going to be here in 15 minutes. But I think we're going to pick up some drinks and stuff. So yeah, really good day. I hope you enjoyed this video so far. For the ride back, we purchased only standard limited express tickets, but reserved a very cool private booth. So we get this whole downstairs. Wow. Oh, this this thing is cool. Whoa. <laughs> nice. <laughs> what do you think, Ram? All right, so I'm gonna show you our tray. There's upper level, upper level is up here. And then we have the entire low area, which is really cool. We pre-booked this online, it fits three to five people. Well, first of all, did you guys have fun? Lots of fun. <laughs> what about you, Randall? Yes. Now well, we're gonna head back and I'm gonna end this video here. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you next time. Bye. Okay, Elaine, I'm gonna do a food haul really quick. Cool. What we brought, I got some nori chips. Then these look like, like the bugles, the Japanese version of bugles. We got some water. And then we have one cup sake for mom. Oh, it actually feels kind of cold. Okay. And then I got an onigiri, my favorite, the salmon one. And I got to try a lemon sour. But yeah, this is the spread for our trip back.